Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, UI Path with Jeppe. It's been a while since I last posted, but I figured it was about time to do something new. Um, today we're looking at regular expressions in selectors in UiPath Studio, so let's just get to it. So I was just browsing LinkedIn last night and I stumbled on Usha here. And Usha has quite a few good tips on her LinkedIn. And one of them was this how to use uh, regular expressions in selectors in UiPath Studio. So uh, let's jump into Studio and have a look at this, but I would recommend you follow Usha for more tips and tricks. So inside of Studio, I have a very, very simple project. I have um, a use application or browser activity that opens my LinkedIn feed. Then I have another activity inside of that that will click a link on my LinkedIn page. So if we go to the LinkedIn page real quick, we can see here that we have this link to IT Cartelit. That is the company that I work at. Uh, and you're more than welcome to follow us here on LinkedIn. But I want to click this link. Now, of course, I could very easily build a selector that found this link using just the text, but I want to make it a little bit more difficult for myself. So I'm going to use a regular expression to find it. So inside of my selector, we can see that um, it uses just a literal value to find this link with IT Cartelit inside of it. And there's a number of white spaces on each side of it. And we just want to try and use a regular expression in order to find this. So I'm just going to press Control C to copy this value, cancel out of my selector editor. And then I'm going to add a matches activity to my canvas here. Now the matches activity is something I just use in order to build a regular expression right now. I have uh, another video on my channel that uh, shows you how to use this activity in more detail, but now we'll just use it to, to get this up and running. So I'll press the configure regular expression button and paste in the test text that I just found inside of the original selector. Now I want to piece together some expressions that will then match this entire string. So there's a number of ways, well, there's an infinite number of ways of doing that. I'll start by finding some white spaces and I will find any number of white spaces. Then I will add um, a word of exactly two characters. That should find the IT part. Then I want to add one and exactly one more white space. And then I'll add a literal, and this will just be the cartelit part of our company name. And then I'll add one final uh, criteria, and that is, again, any number of white spaces. So that will then match this entire thing. And what this uh, results in, this uh, sequence that I set up here, is in this uh, expression down here being generated. And it looks like gibberish, but these are the rules for finding, or these are one set of rules for finding exactly this text in our uh, web page. So I'll copy that value, cancel out of the uh, regex builder, and in fact, I'll just completely delete the matches activity. Then I'll go back into my uh, activity here and uh, find the selector builder, and then I'll replace the value inside of the AA name attribute with the regular expression. So if all things worked perfectly, then if I click validate here, it should light up in green and it doesn't. I'll go back and check that I'm on the right page that actually has this text, but there's one thing we need to do inside of the expression builder as well. We will need to let the expression builder know that we are trying to match on a regular expression and we're doing that on the AA name attribute. So what we'll need to type in is matching on the AA name attribute should be equal to reg X. And once I type that in, you'll see that the selector completely changed up in the top panel here. And what this basically means is now it knows to look for something that matches this regular expression and not the literal value of this gibberish that we have here. So if we now click the validate button, we'll see it light up in green, meaning that it found the actual value. So if I press OK now, and then just close my browser just to be safe, and now run the automation, we should see it open my LinkedIn feed and click the IT Cartelit link based on the regular expression in the selector. And we're back in Studio, and if I just minimize Studio, we can see that in my LinkedIn feed, we actually did click the uh, IT Cartelit link, and we are now in the IT Cartelit page. So that was a very quick look at how you can use regular expressions inside of your selectors. This is a feature that's been around for quite a while. I just was not aware of it. I'm happy to have found it, because I think we can all use it in those situations where a hard-coded selector is just too specific, 
but where a wildcard is also too generic. And that's where you can use regular expressions to set up patterns that more closely match exactly the content that you're trying to find. So thank you to Usha for the tip. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and also follow Usha on LinkedIn. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care, stay safe, bye.